know you wanna be somebody, even if you gotta leave somebody. Yes, I'm good, yes, I'm good. Hey you guys, welcome back to Taylor XO or welcome to Taylor XO if you're a new subscriber. So y'all, as you guys know, yesterday Jazzy decided to get online and I guess she decided to address reactors. I guess there was some things going on or uh, I guess she finally just got tired of people talking about, uh, you know, the roaches, you know, the past few days and you know, the whole thing that the whole spill about her kids and her kids hair not being done. And just, you know, I guess, uh, you know, these girls try to claim that people send them these things and then they decide to, you know, go on live and address it. But I swear that these girls still come on, uh, come online on YouTube and search the reactors and, you know, subscribe to them and always have them, uh, you know, on notifications and see what they're posting because it's just, it's funny how so quickly these girls, get on live to react to what the reactors are saying. So yesterday she had a whole lot to say about, you know, reactors and uh, what we decide to post and basically saying that we are the reason that uh, they get paid or we get paid, her and Liv are the reason we get paid. So I'm going to post a clip in here of or a small clip of her live in here and then we'll get into it. People are just evil. Remember, Misery Love Company. True, true. But also, I be feeling like I got to go live and sometimes and just speak because it's too many negative people. It's not even just one or two. It's like a group of them. And they hate me so much. They be tagging me and stuff. And I just be like, ugh. Like, y'all don't understand how nasty that shit looks to me. Like, y'all go out y'all way to talk mess about me, to tag me on every platform after I blocked you, you go and remake another account because you want to be seen. You want me to address you directly so you can get views on your channel. You think I don't know the algorithm? You think I don't know? I bet you, I bet y'all like $10. Somebody gonna come on here and say, she talking about me. She talking about me. I tag her and she keep blocking me. Watch. Somebody gonna say that. Watch. Grown people. It don't make no sense. That's what I'm saying. Period. Without you and live, they have nobody. No content. Because the content is us. Period. Yes, lately it has been ridiculous with these reactors. It's just crazy. Like, find something else to do. Find some other content to post. They be like, well, I, I ain't finna post my life. I bet you not. I wouldn't post my life if I was you either. <laughs> I bet you, I bet y'all, they none of them will get on here and post their life. And I can't say all reactors. Let me let me backtrack. Because not all of them bullshit, but most of them are. It's like they want you to be this perfect person. No one on earth is perfect. Not one person. They want me to be perfect. And then when I... I want, I prove my point today. Then when I do something, they be like... You're a piss poor mom. You're horrible. Your kids don't deserve you. Oh, you know, you don't deserve those kids. Or you need to take them out to eat somewhere else. Kid friendly. That shit, I proved a point today. And I loved it. I loved it because I just shows that motherfuckers is stupid. Someone said that... I need to take my kids to a kid-friendly restaurant. Kid-friendly restaurant. Took them to McDonald's. Took them to, um, what is that? Gaddyland. Those are our two kid-friendly restaurants. Someone said, did a whole video. They did videos talking shit about, I guess this is good enough. I mean, you took them out. You took them somewhere alive and you recorded. I guess. Like, bitch, what? Are you that upset? <laughs> are you that mad? Oh, okay. Okay. You over there mad. We over here living life, eating good. Enjoying our... Look, enjoy, enjoying our life. We don't give a damn about what anybody got to say. We are enjoying life over here. She a piss poor mom. I wish motherfuckers would... <laughs> I 
wish y'all keep that same energy if I saw y'all in person. I ain't even gonna lie. They all talk ish and use you for a check. They all do. Not all of well, because I think I came across a few that don't talk about me, they talk about other people, but then some of them are how do you say it? Some of them are channels that really give facts, leave opening questions and stuff like that. Unlike these other ones that just talk mess. And I just be like, oh my God, y'all is so funny. Like, uh, <laughs> it's so funny. Please check your DMs. My name is Baby and Kids. So she basically had a whole lot to say about the reactors and, you know, her subscribers were in the chat, you know, boosting her up the whole entire time and agreeing along with her, which, you know, I, I do, I do think that a lot of her subscribers watch the react, watch the reactions on Jazzy, uh, more than she thinks, because, you know, a lot of the times, yeah, you know, you do have loyal supporters, but, you know, when things come out on you and, uh, people, you know, are posting, uh, maybe something that you didn't see, you want to go check it out. And, you know, these, these, her subscribers end up going and watching and, you know, it's just, it is what it is, but I'm sure she doesn't, you know, she, she probably won't ever believe that, uh, you know, she does have subscribers that do go over here and watch these reactors that, that they so-called claim, you know, they'll go on her chat and basically try to hype her up and say, yeah, they say this and they say that and it's terrible, but they're the same people that are secretly behind other accounts or, you know, their own accounts are just in the bushes watching the reactors. So for her to go as far as to say that people were jealous, I know I didn't include that in the clip, but she did say that people are jealous of her. And I've noticed that this is a tactic that she does when she, you know, has nothing else to say. So she just, you know, say that people are jealous of her, which, you know, like, sis, you can't come out and name not one thing people are jealous of. I mean, what are we jealous of? Your bum baby daddy or the fact that, you know, you just can't seem, you know, to get right with your money situation so you can give their your kids, your five kids, you know, what they want and need. At this point, you know, no costumes, you can't afford school supplies, you can't afford this, can't can't afford that. I mean, you know, truly who is jealous of that? You know, roaches in the house. You know, you can't even get a house without your mom being involved and co-signing for something. I mean, sisters, really nothing that nobody is really truly jealous of. I mean, you can sit and say because people speak on certain things that they see in the vlogs is being jealous. But a lot of the times these people are speaking on things that they see i don't think that they're making stuff up uh and which most of the time the reactors aren't making stuff up and even if we do say certain things we always say allegedly at least i do i'm not going to speak for every single reactor because these days there has been a lot of reactors that have you know started channels off of these uh you know mommies just because you know they see the same trifling stuff that we do and you know, I always say that it's so questionable how there's even supporters on some of these, you know, certain YouTube channels just because, uh, you know, if, if they're over there, mothers like they say they are, then how are you not seeing what the reactors and the people who support the reactors are seeing too? Now, I know a lot of people will agree with her and say the reactors do, you know, make money off of these women by speaking bad on them and judging them and, you know, this and that. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, reactors have reaction channels that are uh, specifically for reacting on the things that we see on YouTube. Now, a lot of the times it's not always on Live and Jazzy. I've seen a lot of reactors branch out and do other things, not always just uh, react on the mommies, which everybody's channel is different. But, uh, you know, like I said, a lot of the times, whatever is said on these channels is just what is displayed in the videos. A lot of the times, the reactors are pulling videos up and they're, you know, explaining what's going on in in the video. And a lot of the times, you can't lie about what's being seen in the video. I mean, that would just be straight up lying on these on these women. So a lot of the times we're, we're speaking on what is said, what we're physically seeing in the videos. And if we have a, a big enough audience to where, you know, reactors are making a good enough check off, the, off these women, then clearly, you know, what we're seeing is not lies because 
you know, why would people be subscribing to uh, liars who are just lying on these people? And wouldn't that be, you know, kind of like, you know, grounds to be able to take some of these reactors to court? Now, I mean, some of these reactors and even people that aren't reactors, but just still speak on these women do go too far. And they, you know, get into these women, very personal information, like where they live and, uh, you know, zip codes and, you know, family names that haven't been, you know, put on YouTube and where they work and, uh, you know, even more addresses and stuff like that. But, you know, I myself, I can only speak for myself. I don't go to that length. But like I said, I will always come on here and react to this girl just because, you know, like, uh, you know, the rest of the reactors say we have a voice for the children that are involved in this situation. They clearly don't have anybody else advocating for for them in their family clearly because if they did then you know a lot of the stuff that happens and that we see in these videos from these women wouldn't be happening so i mean i won't say for Liv and you know her kids just because you know they are being well taken care of by gerard and nisha but you know for the other children and just overall i mean especially with jazzy we see the neglect that she continues to do with these kids and uh, just refuse to come on here and do the same things over and over again. And, you know, to top it off that, you know, you have this, you know, bum, uh, bum man in this, in the home with them kids, you know, taking everything he can from them and not even caring that this woman has four other kids, not just the child that they have together that she needs to take care of. And any and every chance he gets, he, you know, gets in there to take something from her, you know, in the midst of trying to provide for these kids. Now, I'm not even going to say that I feel sorry for her, but I do feel sorry for the kids at the end of the day because, you know, it's not their fault that, you know, they, you know, Jazzy and Philip didn't stay together and, you know, she didn't have uh, more kids by him or, you know, just their situation didn't happen that, you know, went on how it did. But either way, for this girl to even be coming on here addressing reactors when she has kids over there that, clearly needs some extra help. I mean, clearly, you know, these kids all go to school. Why she's never doing homework with these kids is just so questionable. Uh, you know, make focus on, you know, the meals that you're making for your kids, cleaning your house or, you know, start moving like you just said you are. I thought, you know, she was in the process of moving. Sis, how do you have time over there with five kids, four that go to school, uh, a, a baby over there, and, you know, allegedly you're pregnant again and you're in the process of of moving again so how do you even have all this time to be addressing reactors and in their mess and in their chats worry about what's going on and who's running your name and saying what you know it just makes no sense and this is why her channel will never grow because you know she only goes but so far with you know her content and you know just overall what she says out of her mouth you know this girl is clearly not articulate and you know clearly doesn't have a uh, some good ideas and good, you know, planning and good, you know, just anything. I mean, this girl fails at everything she does, even this channel. And the fact that this is still paying her bills and she's relying off of this and she thinks long term that this is going to work for her is just beyond me. But you guys comment down below. Do you think that there was a need for her to come on here yet again and <clears throat> address reactors? Because you know, I guess certain reactors bother her and, you know, they come on here and try to address certain reactors because, you know, of course, uh, there is some that are bigger than others. And <clears throat> a lot of people watch them and a lot of people run back and tell, you know, what's what, what's being said and what's being said in chats and screenshots. And it gets to, you know, it gets to getting like that. But uh, for her to come on here and <clears throat> say that people are <clears throat> jealous and, you know, <clears throat> really just uh come on here and you know like I said address people when you know she had kids and need to go to bed it's crazy to me but comment down below y'all what you guys think I love hearing you guys opinion thank you guys so much and I'll see you in another one Tell me what you're